So how can someone make money online? All right. So yeah, there are different ways. You can make money on Fiverr. You can money. You can make money with drop shipping. You can make money with print on demand. You can Long make money with reselling. Yes, you can buy it, buy and sell stuff. You can buy, for example, something on eBay, and you can sell it again on eBay. Yeah. So there are different ways to make money online, and some are easier, some are harder. It and is easy to make money online. Yeah. I mean, like I said, some are easier, some are harder. It is actually easy to make money online, if you ask me, because you just have to get started and focus on one thing. Like, for example, you do Fiverr. You want to do work on Fiverr. You want to offer services on Fiverr. So what you have to do, you just need time and you need to be focused. You need to learn as much as possible. Yeah, focus. Main need to focus. The job. Exactly. You yes. have to get as, as so, good work as possible done. Question, Sean. How much can someone earn on online? How much? Yeah, yeah. How much? There's not really a limit. The market is big. Of course, there is some limit because you have unlimited money, but you can make a lot of money. You can make millions a month online. That's not a problem. But you have to obviously become one yes. of the best, one of the best people that make money online in order to make millions. But it's definitely possible to make millions. The thing is, you should start with a smaller goal. Let's say you want to make 1,000 euros a month in the beginning. This is the first step. And step by step, you can increase the goals. So okay. 1,000 is not, not hard. There are different things you can do. You can create a Fiverr account, for example. You can check what do the people do on Fiverr. What are they how the, how are they making their money? Basically, okay. you just have to you just have to copy them. Basically, you just have to copy their strategy. By copying their strategy, you do the same thing, but you do it better. You have you get clients, yeah. and in the beginning, you offer just or you just do it for five dollars, for example. And after you have reviews, you increase the price. When people think you have you have a good service, you can ask for more money. And step by step, you can grow the Fiverr account. You can do also things on Upwork. You can do different types of things. So if it is so, easy, so. You have to work. if you put in the work, it is easy. It's not hard because if you, you have to just do the work, then you will make the money. It's not hard. But the problem is most people just give up or they, yes. don't, they don't work hard enough. They don't work hard enough or they give up. They think, I, make my, I want to make money online. It will be so easy. I just have I have to just work one hour a week. That's not that's not realistic. You have to of course work more. And I mean laziness is not good anyways. What do you want to do in, if you not work? You watch TV or what? You have to you work, something you have to do anyways. We're we're men. We are not women, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Women women, okay, women watch their children, raise the family and blah blah. And they're not working that hard. Maybe they're working hard with their children. Okay, you might say this is hard. But men have to work hard. They have to yeah, yeah. get things done. Action. Being a man. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Not, not like a woman. Sit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the man <laughs> works. Man is a warrior. Man is a fighter. Yes. Man is a person that wants to make money, wants to build something. Is crypto crypto is good for earn money? Crypto, I think not really. I mean, when you have already a lot of money, let's say you have a lot of, you have one hundred thousand and you want to yeah. invest, then it makes sense to buy Bitcoin or to buy Ethereum and stuff like that. But becoming a crypto person that makes just money with crypto, I don't think that's a good way to make money online because first of all, you don't know. What's going up? What's going down? You don't know. It's like going yeah. to the casino. It's like going to the casino and trying to get lucky. This is what crypto I is for most people. It's on the luck of people. What? It's depend on the luck of people. Yes. Yes. Crypto is one hundred percent luck. It's not skill. So yeah. only if you are very, very, very good and you understand everything about crypto and you have a lot of experience and very I don't know, very high IQ and you understand the whole thing, the, how all of that works, how the processes work, what can go up, what can go down. Maybe 
you can somehow figure it out with hard luck. But for most people, it's just luck. 99% of people, it's luck. They are just playing like in casinos, you know? It's just luck. So I don't think it's a good way. You should instead use your your brain. God has given humans, men, a brain, and they have to use that brain to make money and not try to get lucky with crypto or that gar garbage. So, sir, what do you think about online courses? Online courses. It is, uh, no. Have you tried online courses? Did you try online courses? Yes, yes, I have also tried. Already tried. Where did you try? Before I started to work in online on Fiverr. Okay. I learned, I learned WordPress, web design, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what types of courses. But I guess the question is about like online coaches that offer courses for a lot of money. And they say they teach you how to make money with dropshipping, for example. And yes. people that start with online business and they want, for example, to do dropshipping, they think I should buy a course for 1,000 euros or 2,000 euros. And this person will teach me everything and he will help me to become successful with dropshipping. But the problem is most of these courses and most of these coaches are really bad. They are really bad. Yes. They have a lot of money. Just make it. A business. Yes, just I make mean, it. it's, exactly. It's, it's, it's fine that they want to make a business and they want to make money with it, but they have to give real good quality. But that's not the case. Most people that offer courses have not quality courses. They just create some basic videos, put it on their website, and then they sell this as their course. And these videos sometimes are very old, five years old, not up to date. It's, it's just garbage. It's just bad. You find the same stuff on YouTube for free. Yes, yes. And 95 plus percent of all coaches and courses are bad. There are very it few really good ones. So yeah. I suggest when somebody starts, he doesn't buy a course, but instead he tries all the free stuff on YouTube, on Udemy. There's Udemy, for example. You can try the free stuff on Udemy. And ask questions in Facebook groups, or you join my university. I have a university on Discord. You can ask me questions for free. I answer them for free. I don't have any, I don't ask you for any money because I'm already making money online myself. I don't need to ask people for money, you know. Do you also coach people? Yeah, I have a university on Discord. Yes, yes. But, but it doesn't cost anything. It's free, you know. Okay. It's good. It's just... Somebody can join and he can ask questions. I answer all the questions I can answer. And there are other people as well that make money in the in the university. They can also answer questions. Oh, okay. So currently it's free. In the future, I will charge for premium services. For premium. That's the plan right now. But the free edition will always exist. People will always be able to ask questions and be part of the university and stuff like that. But like yeah. video consulting or premium products or whatever this will cost money in the future currently that's not the case so do you know on which countries have a more advantage about make money online i think to be honest if you have time and if you have a computer yes yes and water and a little bit of food and you have an apartment where you are safe you don't have to work outside and the rain is not falling in your head or it's not cold then it is already you have already all you need you don't have you don't need anything else to make money online there is no advantage if you are in germany or if you are <laughs> it is, yeah what it is not it is not depend on a country it is depend on your skill. I'm yes, right. it's depending on your ambition, on your goals, on your skill, on your self belief, on this type of things. Doesn't matter if you're in Germany or in Bangladesh or in Brazil or in or in Mexico, whatever. Doesn't matter. But of course, when somebody is in a country like Bangladesh or something like that, he has not often so much time. He has to work to get food. You know, I understand yeah. that because if he doesn't work. He gets no food. So there is, in Germany, it's different. In Germany, when you don't work, the government gives you some money. And you can buy food with this money. 
In the, in the meantime, you can build your business. So you have an advantage when it comes to that. But yeah, yeah. It, also somebody in Bangladesh, if he has internet, if he has a computer, if he has everything, and he really wants to make money online, then yeah. he has to just work a little bit more. He has to work instead of maybe 10 hours a day, he has to work 16 hours a day or 18 hours a day for two months until he starts to make money online. Then he quits his job. His job is then finished. And then he just focuses on making money online. Then he has already the income online and can pay himself with the income online, the food, everything with what he earns online. So it's it's not a problem. So how was, uh, I think, how was uh, someone get started to make money online? How do you think, sir? Well, I think you have to just... I mean, if somebody wants to start making money online, he has to just start. Like he has to just Google what, how can he ma make money online? What are the different ways? And then he maybe experiments, tests some of the ways, makes himself a five account, tests dropshipping, test print on demand, different tests, just a little bit of testing for a few days one, two weeks. And after that, he decides, okay, I will do this. Let's say I want to do print on demand. Then he focuses on this, learns yes, as yes, much yes. as possible on YouTube, as much as possible information in his brain. And I think first of all, we need to, we need to research our, our skill. One well, There are many skills on the marketplace. Yeah. Yes. There, there are, are different things. There are digital marketing service. There are print on demand service. I think we have to choose one for the greatest success. What do you think, sir, about it? Yes, of course. You have to focus on one, like yes, yes. not like five different. People make the mistake. They focus on ten different things, and then nothing works. They yes, do yes, one yes. thing for one week, so next thing for the next week. Oh, I didn't make money. Next thing for the next week. It doesn't work like that. You have to focus on one thing. Maybe it takes you one month. Maybe it takes you three months until you start to make money. But you have to continue, not stop. And then you will make money over time. Because you get smarter, more information, more experience. Of course, you're going to make more money. I mean, of course. Yes. It's impossible that you don't make no money. You know what I mean? If you work and if you learn and if you get smarter, then you make more money, obviously. You cannot not make more money. If you make now, let's say somebody makes $100 a month on online. Yes, yes. If he learns and gets experience and keeps improving, 100% he will make more money next month. He will improve. He will make more. Yes. This is just how humans work. This is just how we are. If somebody wants to learn how to drive a or to drive a bicycle yes. and he doesn't know how, he tries, he tries, he tries, doesn't work. Okay, then it starts to work. He can drive a little bit, then he can drive better, and he can drive better. Then becomes an expert. He can drive with one hand, just with one hand, and he can drive without yes. hands. You know what I mean? Over time, you just become better. So, sir, one more question, sir. Yeah. What do you think about wrestling? What? what? Wrestling. What do you think about wrestling? Yeah, yeah, reset. Reselling, I think, is a very good way to make money. I mean, it depends where you live. I was living in Austria a few years ago. In Austria, you have certain websites. The website, the main website is called Wilhaben, but there's also Facebook Marketplace. You know Facebook Marketplace, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, you want to buy something. You go just on Facebook Marketplace. You, you see, for example, you want to buy a phone and... You want to make money with this phone. You want to buy this for 300 euros and you want to sell it for 400 euros. What is your profit? You have profit 100 euros, right? Yes. You make profit. So this is how you do reselling. You just basically buy, sell, buy, sell. And if somebody has not experienced in the beginning, then he obviously doesn't know how much he has to pay and how much he has to sell it for. But you have to gain this experience and information and knowledge. And how do you get that? You get this by practice. You have to practice. You have to yeah. buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. And then you will understand more. And you have to write everything down. How much did I pay this for? How much did I sold it for? And by doing that, by writing everything down, you will understand over time how much you have to pay for something in order to make profit. 
This yeah. is how I did it. I was very young. I was 21, 22, and I just started to buy bicycles. And then I sold bicycles for 20 euros profit, 30 euros profit for one bicycle. And then I started doing phones. I bought phones, I sold phones. And over time, after doing this like 50 times, 100 times, 200 times, you just know everything. You understand this is how much it costs. This is how much I have to pay in to make money. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you lose money, but in general, you make money. You know what I mean? So 95% is profitable. 5% maybe doesn't work, but doesn't matter because 95% is profitable. So you make money anyway. So is dropshipping is a good way to earn online? Dropshipping was a good way in the past. Is it a good way now? I I think there are better ways now to make money online than dropshipping. Dropshipping is very hard, you know? So if somebody already has money, then I suggest he can start dropshipping. It makes sense. Okay, if you have 5,000 euros, you can start. Because the problem is with dropshipping, you have to invest a lot of money for marketing. You have yes, to get need money. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You have to run Facebook ads, Google ads, and so on and so forth. And you lose a lot of money in the beginning. If you don't know how to do dropshipping, you lose a lot of money. You have to test products. You have to learn how does Facebook ads work, TikTok ads, how does it work? Maybe you lose your Facebook ads account after you test it, thousand euros, you spend thousand euros, and then they ban you. PayPal closes your account. It's very hard nowadays to make money without money when you when you start dropshipping. And that's why I said there are better ways. You can, for example, go on Fiverr. You don't have to have any money to start a Fiverr account. It's free. You can just open a Fiverr account, 100% free. You can also do print on demand. It's also free. You just have to open Redbubble account or T Public account. Just open yeah, account. Yeah. It's free. And you can create designs for free with artificial intelligence and put them on Redbubble. It's all free. So you don't have to need you don't need money to start these things. But dropshipping, you definitely need money. You need a lot of money. Dropshipping. Okay. So sir, uh, what do you think about uh, print on demand? Print on demand, yeah. Print on demand. Yeah, like I said, I mean print on demand, you don't need any money to start it, you know? So you can start print on demand for free. And that makes it very, very beneficial for most people because they can make money without having to invest anything. They make a five, not five, but a red bubble account, a public account. Yeah, of course. What? Anyone can start it, it, uh, with free. It is yes, not cool. Exactly. It's just you can just start for free. There are 10 different platforms. That are good platforms, Spreadshirt, Redbubble, T Public, Display, Sudsley, and so on and so forth. Everything is free. You just create accounts, you create the designs with artificial intelligence, and you upload the designs. Then, if the designs sell, you get money. Okay. So, obviously, I think that's one of the best ways nowadays to make money with print on demand because you don't pay anything. In the beginning and you can instantly immediately start to buy creating as many designs as possible with the best quality and it's also not hard to create the designs because there are already so many designs that sell you know exactly what works you go on red bubble and on the first page everything are the best sellers the best sellers are on the first page you just have to basically copy them you know what I mean? Not copy, literally yeah, yeah, copy. Yeah. You don't have to 100% copy, but you look on them, you understand, okay, this is how a good design looks like. And then you make something similar, not a copy, but a similar design that is inspired. Like, based on like example, t-shirt design. Yeah, for example, you have a t-shirt design right now, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, this is what print on demand is. I mean, t-shirts, everybody buys t-shirts. Everybody needs t-shirts. Print on demand yes, yes. will always work, and yes. you don't need any money to start. You just have to create accounts, create designs, create, 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 get money. You get money yes. paid from the platforms. They give you money for yeah. you giving them designs. So, how do you think is is Fiverr is a good platform? 
for make money online? Yeah, I think so. Because also like print on demand, Fiverr doesn't cost anything. You can just create a Fiverr account for free. And I think everybody, really every single person can make money on Fiverr. Everybody. Because there are so many different things you can do there. You can do, like you already mentioned, you do customer service. You yes. can virtual assistance. You can make video recordings. You can do voiceover. You can do research. You can do everything. You just have to do something that people need. You should, you yes. should understand what do people want. Okay, I can do this. Okay. And everybody can do something, you know, everybody can do something. And depending on your skill, you can ask for more or less. And also reviews are very important. So after you have a lot of reviews on Fiverr, you can obviously ask for more. Because if you have like 50 reviews, you can ask okay. for more money for your services because people will think this, this person is good. He has a lot of reviews, so I will buy his services. And also Fiverr will think, okay, a lot of people give him good reviews. We put his service to the top and pe more people can see it. And then more people will obviously order from that person. And yeah, I think the best thing a person can do when he starts to first make his money online, he wants to just get started. Then I recommend you start doing freelancing on Fiverr, on Upwork, on freelancer.com. On yes. peoplesperhour.com or something like that. This is the website. There are different websites. Fiverr and Upwork are the best websites. And you just create the gigs. You can create up to seven gigs in the beginning for free. Yeah. And you can also theoretically create multiple Fiverr accounts. You can create two Fiverr accounts. Then you can create 14 gigs. Or you create three five accounts and you create 21 gigs, you know? I mean, it's not a problem. You can do that. You just have to know how in order to make sure that Fiverr doesn't know that you have multiple accounts. Fiverr should obviously not know that. But you yes. can do it. You can create multiple accounts on Fiverr. Then you can over customer service. You can over uh, visual assistance, everything, all different types of things. And another thing about Fiverr, the, another great thing about Fiverr is you don't have to really know that much in the beginning. You have to just check other people on Fiverr. You have to check how are they making money. There are yes. many people, they have a lot of reviews. What are their services? You check, and then you just copy them. You just do the same thing. You copy their service, you over the same thing. Now you see, okay, somebody has 2,000 reviews. He's selling print-on-demand fonts or graphics or whatever for $5 or $10, or he's a designer. Then you think, okay, I will do the same thing. I will use artificial intelligence. I will create graphics, and I will sell graphics on Fiverr. And you, you do basically the same as him, make the money. 